Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ? This is your brother Vidal. Yes, I am going to talk about this guy named Takashi69. Uh, I would never know the names of the rappers of this age. I don't pay attention to what's going on in the world. You know, it says, do not love the world or anything in the world. For if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that's of the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And it is not of the Father, but of this world. And this world is passing away, and the lust thereof. But he who does the will of the Father abides forever. So I really don't engage in the things of this world. But just for this one time, I'm just going to talk about this guy. Um, the reason I know this guy because I watched a um, X Ministry series by G. Craig Lewis. And I'm about to show you the, uh, the clip in a little bit. But he stuck out from the whole... Um, documentary and uh, you know I was interested of this fellow so you know and I and the thing is I saw a lot of his stuff already online you know surfing through YouTube trying to find clips for a lot of videos that I make and I'm like man who is this guy so um yeah so real quick here's the clip of G Craig Lewis um series on behind the truth behind hip hop I mean, these demons and these songs and these folks are trying to take you somewhere. Did Jesus preach about hell? Jesus spoke of hell way more than he spoke of heaven. Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So who goes to hell? Let's see what they were doing that made the earth open up. The Bible said their thoughts were evil, what? Continuously. The first thing they did was they rebelled against God while claiming to be God's chosen people. And then they created their own gods. They went back to their old sins. Finally, they rejected God's prophet and his. So for us to do what we want to do with you, we need you to be able to learn evil. That's what this was all about. And so the devil can promote his family. Not God's family. The devil's family. These rappers and stuff, they, they rap about it. They sing about it because they want to take your children there. Yeah, a lot of scary stuff in that video. Um, but, you know, the you know, a lot of my brothers in Christ, you know, when we read the scriptures, we know there are people who are vessels of destruction. You know, and, you know, I feel sad right now because I've been updated of what's the, the certain situation that this guy is going through right now. Well, the Bible says this, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he shall reap. And he's in this situation because he sowed to this situation. Now he's reaping the reward, whether it's a good or bad reward. And, 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 and getting, uh, getting your wages uh, like, uh, is not ever a good reward. So, um, you know, as, as he's a human being. You know, a lot of people would say, oh, the kid has a good heart. You know, once again, I made my point. If you haven't watched the video where I was sharing the gospel with the kids in the streets and stuff, um, go ahead, check that out. But no one has a good heart. I made that argument. I laid that strong. None of us are good. None of us has a good heart. And a lot of this music, I, ca I can't even watch this music. You know what I'm saying? It stirs up lust. You know, it's, it's not healthy for, so, you know, and this is why I'm making these series. There's a lot of you guys who are out there are saying I'm a Christian hip hop, but you're still watching the things of this world, the things of hip hop come out from among them, the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. We need to be separate, you know what I'm saying? Don't get too entertained with this. There's one thing of, of there's one thing of looking at this and being, you know, despising. There's one thing that you're just entertaining yourself. You like this, the drama, the gossip, you know? Are you, are you a Christian hip-hop artist? Are you, are, are you, if this guy asks you to make a song with him, will you do that? Really? And you love the Lord? 
So yes, I sympathize with this human being, but at the same time, he got himself to this point, you know? Um, let me um, go to this next clip right here. No problem. Can you, you you're a young dude, mm -hmm. you banging, mm -hmm. can you control your friends? It's a major pro Bro, I'm I got Fat that. Joe, I, listen to I me. Understand. Fat Joe from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. I used to go to my shows. You got to Google Flow Joe. 100 is with me, Army Fatigue, same shit. I don't know. I would go to my show and my entourage would the fans, the I crowd. I know, but you can't, you couldn't control that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and I, I'm a you controlling could, nigga. couldn't control it. So I'm asking you, could you control? I can't control nothing my team does, man. You know what I'm saying? My team is, the, they, they grown men. You know what I'm saying? They do what they gonna want to do. And like I said, bro, this is, this is just a part. Like, this is the music side. You know what I'm saying? What do you want? What do you want? I just want to, yeah. What do you want out of your career? What, 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 when you dreamed of Jacking you in New York, of seeing you and, and taking you for what you are. What do you want? What was your biggest dream? Uh, my dream was never music. To be honest, I didn't. I didn't look at myself as a rapper. Before I rapped, I, I did videos. Like I, I love like like short films and like. like so you might want to go acting or whatever the case. Yeah. I gotta tell you, right? Because. You see what happened to Bobby Schmurder, right? And. Bobby Smurda got fat Joe'd. These people, these police, they try to set me up so many times. They didn't like who I was, who I stood for. I wasn't this much of a nice guy or conscious when I first was out here acting crazy. They wanted to get me like him, but they got him. Mm. One million percent, they are plotting on you. Yeah. You got a lot of energy around you. So the question is, do you want to be successful? Do you want to be the king? Do you want to be rich? Do you want to take care of your family? What do you want to do? Because I got to tell you, as an OG, as I go be around, I be lying to myself if I ain't tell you, yo, B, one move, they're going to try to throw you in there. Big time. Do you understand this? Nah, I know. I know. But I feel like everybody looking at me like, just the way like people like, Look at me of of like yo, this kid talks so much. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Nah, I know, but like, it's like you know what I'm saying. I I do it because you know what I'm saying. I know my body, like you know what I'm saying. And people look at like, you is behind you, but I don't keep my address on interviews. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just invite all the time. Yeah, but you don't have to. I nah, I dad don't got to. But you know what I'm saying? I, I like like an answer to your question, right? With the Bobby Schmurder situation, no mm -hmm. last situation, they go. I ain't doing nothing, man. I'm just talking about, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you know what I'm saying? We don't go out there looking for trouble, you know what I'm saying? We address it. We don't go out there looking I for trouble. I want you to know that. You know what I'm saying? I want you to know that. Right. That people are watching. Some people love you. The youth, they love you. I've been in clubs, shit turning up crazy. Fucking bomb. Mm -hmm. But I want you to be careful and just know that these people out there, and they out there to hurt you. Yeah, I so I got to tell you that because we need you. I need you. I need Casanova. I need Lou Got Cash. I need the leaders of the new school to make it. We all was wild. T.I. caught court with 17 guns. He just left here right now. We all went through it. We all went to jail. We all did it. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. You getting money. You need you, you you need to know that you don't have to. I know. It ain't you know time. Time is the most important thing in life. You young, so you think, hey, whatever. Time is the most crucial thing in life. It's the most crucial thing in life. That's why they take that from you. So yes, in this clip we see that you know. I wish that, you know, that he would have been sent a godly man with a send and warn him, but God will send you warnings. And, and he did not heed the warning. Like when us Christians go out into the world and we preach the gospel and we warn people about the wrath of God, he was warned about his situation. And, he, and what, does, what do the wicked do? They ignore. And that's what he did. He ignored. 
And now he's, he's caught up with a life sentence, you know? Um, with the, what, let's look at this next clip. All right, just getting back into the office today. Crazy day of court, all right? I'm gonna do a quick video about this. I was in court today and I found myself in the same courtroom as rapper Takashi69. Close with some of the guards in there, so they let me know, yo, 6 ix in the building, there's an arraignment going on, you might wanna check. The lawyer came up there and he said, yo, they're trying to deny bail saying that 6 9 is a threat, but Really, what happened in this case is that on Friday, the feds came to 6 9 and they said to him that he should come into custody for protection because there's threats on his life. So 6 9s lawyer was making an argument that my client's not the threat. The feds admitted that the threat is actually on 6 9s life. And so he should get bail. He's not, he's not a threat to the community. When the judge confronted the feds over that information, the feds explained why they believe there was a threat on 6 9s life. And they said they had a wiretap up on some some of the people that 6ix9ine was working with, some of the other defendants in this case. And those people, the ones who 6ix9ine fired, um, had indicated on that wiretap, you know, text messages and calls that they were gonna go get 6ix9ine. Um, the feds actually quoted what was said, and they say, yo, we don't violate this guy. We're gonna quote, super violate him. So hashtag super violate, man. That's, that was real crazy when I heard that. Some of the other crazy stuff we heard, we heard about how much people got in their bank accounts. Um, Shadi was in there and Shadi was getting arraigned and they discussed how much he had in his account and they put it out there that he has 60,000 in his account. 6 ix accounts uh, had 1.7 million. His lawyer offered to put every penny up and bail still got denied, which was crazy. I, I saw 6 ix head you know, right before the judge was, um, right before the judge was about to give his verdict. You know, the thing went on for about 40 minutes and the judge kind of sat there quietly and he was thinking about it, thinking about all the arguments he had just heard and the whole courtroom fell silent. And I saw 6 9 kind of dip his head down, kind of like he was in prayer. It says that he was in court and he was praying. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. And who is he praying to? Because all of his music and all of his doing, he, he, he's glor like, look at the guy. You know what I'm saying? He has, he has that guy from this certain movie, Jigsaw, he, a symbol of him tattooed in his face, tattooed of death. Why are you covering yourself with symbols of death? And then you see God who is life, who tells us to mimic him who is life. To, he tells us to walk in the light so we can walk in the light. He tells us to walk in truth and holiness to be righteous but he he has done a lot of wickedness and the thing is he also has done look at what he has done this is what fat joe said in the video some people love you the youth they love you the youth he's been an influence towards the youth of this generation but then again the youth is unregenerated Meaning, they're dead in their sins. They love evil things. They love pig food. They're entertained with this guy. Because they would love to do what he is doing. They're ex he's expressing what, what's already in their heart. It's just he's doing it. They can't. You know? And, you know, you see people, you know, with these apps, you know, coloring their hair and their face just like him. They want to mimic the guy. They want to copy. They want to be like the world. They want to be like a thug. They want to be like him. And this is what the generation they look for on the internet. They're not looking for God. God, I don't want... You know? What I pray, though, as I make this video and I come to a close is that that this man, you know, like I said earlier, like there are people who are vessel for destruction, but I have hope. If I didn't, I wouldn't go and preach in the streets and share the gospel. Like you see on some of the videos I have on my page. I would, I have hope. I pray that this man would repent. You know? So, yeah guys, um, thank you so much once again. I hope this video um, will clarify some things. And, you know, uh, man, this world, you know, sometimes it grieves me. Who are, like, this is our generation. They look up to these people. I just... You know, this is the direction we're heading, you know what I'm saying? There's no godly examples. You know, the most popular people in the world are the wicked. And I'm going to hit a video on that topic pretty soon, so stay tuned. God bless you guys, and thank you so much for um, continuing to stay, stay hidden in Christ Jesus. It ain't, you know, time, 
Time is the most important thing in life. You're young, so you think, hey, whatever. Time is the most crucial thing in life. It's the most crucial thing in life. That's why they take that from you. See, time is a space given by God in his kindness and grace as he shine in his face. Yet it's kind of funny. Some say time is money, but time's more precious than money, wine, or honey. Because we spend the time when there's no refunds. We'll never see it again, there's no reruns If you lost your Hummer, it's possible to cop another But time is something we cannot recover Yet I'm baffled How some think they can preserve time inside of a time capsule But since the fall of man, the sands of time are turning us all back into salty sand But our souls have an eternal destination So use your time to make sure the best is taken It's either in preparation to better praise him Or further steps toward eternal separation we're revolving time all the time And all the time we got is all the time we got And one day all the time will stop Thinking of all the time, the time, the time that I've wasted And I realize that my time had an end We're revolving time all the time And all the time we got is all the time we got And one day all the time will stop Thinking of all the time, the time, the time that I've wasted There isn't much time left Wall Street, a rich dude snorts lines His morning devotion is the New York Times And Time Magazine at times it seems time flies as if time had some wings But this is irony, right? How most spend the time in their life trying to have the time of their life Thinking lies are really true If you're busy killing time, the truth is time is killing you But you're too cool, you love to take your time You fool, God can come and take your time Then he'll search your mind and surely find your works are slime One sins and each